Hello again and welcome to the People's Radio programme. Tonight we have the Radio 1 debut of Action Packed. I think you'll enjoy that. And a repeat of our highly regarded session from The Cure. We've also got an unprecedented number of requests for students with silly names, some wonderful new records, don't you just love me when I'm deliberately vague, and a lot of grousing as usual. We start the programme with The Nightingales. I always like to start the programme with the big chart names. Those are the Nightingales, the single on Cherry Red, and that's called Use Your Loaf. The John Peel Road Show was in Edinburgh for much of the weekend, and on Saturday night, uh, went to the university, or a part of the university, to play the records uh, while the horrible, sexy vampires and TV 21 played. And unfortunately, uh, through no fault of its own, it wasn't uh, able to do an awful lot of its brilliantly amusing uh, conversation in between the records because it was given one awful microphone, which was then replaced after an hour or so with a second awful microphone, so everything I said was entirely inaudible. Also, this is absolutely true, I'd got a migraine at the time, <laughs> so obviously where you don't want to be is, a, is doing a disco. But I was very plucky about it, and I'd taken one of my tablets, which I don't like taking, which leaves you kind of feeling rather dazed, and... Um, but TV21, I was sufficiently alert to notice that TV21 played a terrific set. And this is for Kev, Ollie, Iki, Smiggy, Jimmy and Muff. I did warn you about the names. This is the new single, All Join Hands. That's a jolly good idea.
house Then we'll spend the ties This is our last chance TV21 and the new single on Decca, which is called All Join Hands, or for the benefit of the people who were at my gig at Edinburgh University and are now used to my talking d differently. <laughs> ah, uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Action packed, I'll give you the lineup Joe Fungus on drums, Dr. Fives on bass, Wild Planet on guitar, and George at the vocals. And uh, you may recall their Heathrow EP, which I played. Oh, well, they, they shared it with another band, but I played their contributions probably far too many times. This is called People. <laughs> That's action-packed and uh, people, the first of them. I love George's voice because he sounds so bad-tempered, like the sort of person you get on Switch. Well, I'm sorry, I've told you already, he's not in. That sort of thing. From the Lone Ranger, this is uh, Trod Along, and it's for Norbert Basebin of Twisted Nerves. It's his birthday on the 22nd of February. In fact, that's is it 22nd today? Is 22nd it's... today, John. OK, terrific. And uh, that's our calendar man. Also mentioned Karen Goggs, Billy Keith and Alistair. Twisted Nerve play at the Golden Stone Dunbar on March the 13th with pre-warned... Uh, Rebel Youth. How did that get into it? Lone Ranger, trod along. Right. Oh. Murder. 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 Murder.
it about Titanic. We want to reach Mount Zion, and we have to tread it. Said Hera was a leader for the Egyptians. Hera vines from the older one. We sight up Papa Moses with a rod in him hand. Say folk say him get it from the older one. Tell me say as you tread along, say as you tread along. The people them a ball out fake and the eye shanks. Say while some of them just keep silent. Say was it struck the rock and man it bring a fountain. Say many Ethiopians did jump in. They make a little chat up on the higher mountain. Them chat into the father for the ten commandments. Say as you chat along, say as you chat along. Father said to Moses, take your shoes from off your feet. For the place you're standing is on holy ground. Do it, ya! Come be say as you turn around the sight and push it did a burn. He never sight the smoke that a he could even learn. The father shook Moses and say man stand firm. Say give it to you can this a book and make them learn. Say as you chat along, say as you chat along. As you chat along we hear a nice like a bama. But this time man he put the Ethiopians. They come in in a tens and in a thousand. Say in a chariot and a bandwagon. Can we say as you chat along, say as you chat along. We hear a little noise from the Queen of England. We hear a little noise from the Queen of England. Say capture the strong, strong Ethiopians and carry them beyond the Caribbean. And then you call them Jamaican. How about this? Can we say as you chat along, say as you chat along. Say if them don't work, that a tribulation. Say if them don't. Word that a batteration. Say anko for you an. Say out a station. Say pan the bench beside another man. Cause that a tribulation. Boom. Chow me ka tell you say that as you chat along. Say as you chat along. For out of a many say a we are one. A dreadlocks ballin a rock Babylon. Can me say as you chat along. Say as you chat along. It's only jam. Bim. A fi me meditator. It's only jam. I feel me meditate. Can we say black am I and a black am woulda be right? Black am I and a black am woulda be. Although some wicked people say they want to change me, but a black am feel me beauty. Chow me can tell you say me love and feel me beauty. I will miss it. Can we say as you chant along, say as you chant along. The people them a ball out fake and the eyes shine. Say why some of them just keep silent? Say Moses just the rock am and he bring a fountain. Say many Ethiopians did jump in. They make a little chant up on the higher mountain. They chant into the Father for the Ten Commandments. Say as you chant along, say as you chant along. Say if them don't work, that a tribulation. Say if them don't work, that a batteration. Say I go find you and say out a station. Say pan the bench beside another man. Say that a tribulation. Chow me ka tell you that a tribulation. Chow me ka tell you say that as you chant along, say as you chant along. Flash it. A 12-inch on Jar Guidance Records, The Lone Ranger, and that's called Trod Along. Something else wonderful happened to me, actually, at the University of Edinburgh on Saturday night. Somebody gobbed on the back window of my car. Isn't that a revolutionary gesture? Don't you wish you'd thought of that yourself? It's all dried out now and gone white and looks most peculiar. And uh, some self-confessed posers asked me to play them a record, describing themselves as the cynic, the sceptic and the gullible. And, uh, boys, if, you, if you'd spelled gullible right, I'd have spent... Spe I'd have played your request. As it is, I'm not going to. This is the Fun Boy 3.
12 inch version of course that's the fun boy three goes about down very well at gigs that i found over the weekend and and fine record one of the things which i'm always very interested to see and i speak as a chap who's very pleased at being one quarter scottish is that uh, whenever i go to scotland i always look for things of sort of like forced scottish if you see what i mean which must be most galling to people who are actually fully scottish i mean things like
One of the best sessions of the past 12 months, that's pompous radio talk for a year, and a cure, of course, and that's 100 years. And uh, could you bear with some more of these requests? I've got a piece of paper, actually, as I was coming in, saying, and if you want to see and hear something different, sex gang children are playing at Gossips off Dean Street, this is in London, of course, uh, on Tuesday, February the 23rd, tomorrow, with uh, Roxy and Trash supporting. Sex gang children on stage at 12.45pm. Well, I never... Could you bear with some more of these requests? That's what I was about to say. Um, Doug wanted me to play something for Sarah. Podgy to podgy, he said. How embarrassing. Uh, to Sue in Low Catton from Dave. Uh, we all like the kindergarten paint set. Oh, that's a band that I saw in Liverpool, actually, because I managed to fit a visit in, <laughs> into Liverpool into my busy weekend and uh, saw them and Blue Poland and the Cherry Boys. An interesting... I mean, they've got a long way to go, the kindergarten paint set, but they've got some interesting notions. And um, this is also for the inmates of 128 Dundee Street from George and the the loonies. This is back in Scotland, of course, now. Uh, from Fergus to Nigel and Greg in London, Paul in Congleton, James in Reading, Rob in Portsmouth, and Beth in Edinburgh. Enough, I think, to be going on with. Action packed cowslick blues. <laughs> Quite complete. 
That's called cow's lick blues, and that's action-packed, demonstrating, I think, if in case it needed demonstrating, that it's still possible to make some kind of movement within the punk tradition, as Vice Squad do, in my view, uh, without just being humourless and playing absurdly fast and singing quite unintelligible lyrics. Very good indeed, I think, action-packed. Now, um... Because of all this uh, dashing around all over the country, of course, being a professional Uncle Jolly Boy, it did mean that I've, for the first time in many, many months, fallen behind with listening to records. I mean that there are records now at home which I've not yet heard, and I don't usually let this occur. In fact, this morning when I got up, I had the impossible task of listening to 45 LPs and 21 12-inch singles before coming into, into the BBC this evening. One LP. enough. That comes from the LP Not To, and that's Colin Newman, 123 Beep Beep, which reminded me that I promised to play you uh, a record by Gene Vincent, which has one of the silliest titles that I've ever heard, B.I. Bicky by Bo Bo Boo. And uh, somebody wrote to me when I mentioned that before and said, how dare you be so rude about Gene Vincent? Hey, listen, Gene Vincent's one of my great heroes, but it's a ludicrous title. And uh, some personal requests, actually, seeing as I'm doing them for everybody else, might as well do one or two for myself. It's from Brian Gardner, a bloke I bumped, to in, in the, bumped into in the street when I was wandering around Edinburgh feeling sorry for myself. Also for Anne, Tina, Liz and Rachel, who made me a marvellous omelette last Wednesday night. And uh, for Peter Wrench, too. Jean Vincent, B.I. Bicky Bye, Bobo, Boo. Well, as I was walking down the street, I heard a crazy song with a crazy beat. The man in the house was going real wild. All them cats just a jumping in the hour. B.I. Bicky Bye, Bobo, Ramp. Chicken, I hit the floor. 
A wonderful record, Gene Vincent. I always knew that as, as B.I. Bicky by Bobo Go, I must admit, but it says on both sleeve and label it's B.I. Bicky by Bobo Boo. I suppose it's just an academic point. And um, just seconds before the programme started, I had a visit from uh, a deputation of Higson's. Higson's seem to crop up everywhere I go these days. It must be coincidence. And I had a request for something from the Higson's for Andy London. I was also supposed to mention Jez, Rosie and Catherine. And the Higson's turned up and brought me a copy of their forthcoming single. And uh, this is it. <laughs> You probably feel the same as I do, that that's called Who Stole My Bongos, but in fact it's not called that at all. It's called Conspiracy, the forthcoming single from the Higsons. And they also brought me the debut release from the Farmer's Boys, which I think you'd have to wait until tomorrow night to hear. Also on tomorrow night's programme, incidentally, will be a lot more of these requests and uh, sessions from Blamange and uh, The Cravats. This comes from Action Packed Suicide Bag. <laughs> Let's get it, 
sound advice from Action Pact, and that's called Suicide Bag. And uh, Oliver and the Black Spirits coming up next. And earlier on this evening, somebody promised me a new LP. At least I think it was a new LP by Oliver and the Black Spirits, which I look forward to hearing. The one that I've got, which was given to me by uh, a listener, if I ought to credit him, really, uh, Nick Gurr from Walders Lade, Chatham, Kent. And uh, thank you very much for this, Nick, because it's, it's a terrific LP from 1979. About to play a track from that, but uh, I might as well tie it in with a request. I have to tie everything in with a request. Uh, somebody wanted a cheerful record. Hold on, what does it say, cheerful record? Record. This is most irritating, really. All of the, hold on. <laughs> no, I can't find it. Never mind. OK, this is uh, Oliver and the Black Spirits as threatened. <laughs> If you didn't like that, then it could be a good time for you to take that overseas holiday that you've been promising yourself for some time, because I'm going to play a lot more from it. Oliver and the Black Spirits, and uh, that's called Ndodin... Oh, what is it called? N-D-O-D-I-N-I-K-O. You can pronounce it for yourselves, if you like. I found the request, which uh, would seem to be appropriate. And uh, Mark Weir wanted a happy tune for shot. This sounds like names from some TV programme. In fact, I'm sure they are. Uh, Sholto, Spiv, Stumpy, Compo, Sam, Carl, Schizo, Worm, The Hippo Lover, all allegedly of Aberdeen. Now, this next one is an actual record with an actual request. I mean, somebody actually asked for the specific track. It's for Julian Dodd, who just got... Julie and Dodd, sorry, not Julian Dodd, uh, who just got engaged for Al, or is it Ali's? I can't really tell. Birthday on uh, Thursday, and also for Neil and Keith. The only ones, and fools. <laughs>
That's a 12-inch on Grim Ben records, Rankin Toyin and Pants and Blouses, and before that, Fools from The Only Ones and Pauline. Sound like a vaudeville act. We don't often get requests for specific tracks from sessions, but here is one. Hazel Shaw in Edinburgh wanted me to play Siamese Twins by The Cure for her little brother Matthew in Yorkshire. Siamese Twins, The Cure.
The Cure and Siamese Twins. An excellent session, this, I think. And uh, for Martin, Andy, Donald and Martin B, this is uh, a sing Well, it's a track from an EP by Mark, James and Julie. Hiya, honey. Didn't expect me, did you? Well, 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 Jeff, look who's here. I haven't seen you in many a year. If. If. I. I knew you were coming out of big to cake. Big to cake. Big to cake. cake. If I knew you were coming out of big to cake. How'd you do? How'd you do? How'd you do? Had you dropped me a letter, I'd have hired a band. The, the grandest grand band in the land. Band. Had you dropped me a letter, I'd have hired a band. To spread the welcome out for you. Well, I don't know where you came from, cause I don't know where you've been. But it doesn't really matter, grab a chair and fill your platter and dig, dig, dig right in. If I knew you were coming out of big to cake, hide a band. Goodness sake. If I knew you were coming out of big to cake, how'd you do, how'd you do, how'd you do? Just fine, just fine. When I was very, very little indeed, I learned all of the words of that, you know. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake, Mark, James and Julie. Graham Whips, alias Sue, and friend Grant, can this possibly be right, wanted something from the scars. This is Fear of the Dark. <laughs>
Those are the scars and uh, fear of the dark. Actually, on the subject of childhood, which I mentioned earlier in the context of learning the lyrics of the previous song, uh, I did something today which I've never actually done in my life before, and it was wonderful. It was a great release, and for a bloke like me who gets very tense and sort of neurotic and stressful, I'm sure, a very unhealthy kind of life that I lead, it's a very wonderful thing to do. I would recommend it. I, earlier on, well, obviously earlier on today, I mean, this afternoon, the various frog children were out uh, outside trying to fly a kite. Now, this is something that I've never done done before and I thought well it's the sort of thing that a father is supposed to do so I trotted out there and after a couple of trial runs which caused a great deal of merriment actually got the thing going and it went higher and higher and higher right till the end of the string and of course I wouldn't let him play with it because I was so knocked out with it terrific so if you're ever feeling stressful go and fly a kite I mean I know that sounds like a, a joke but it was, it was wonderful I felt enormously better as a consequence of having done it from Action Pact this is Losers Well, this sort of music may not be enormously fashionable these days, but I think action packs are terrific, and that's called Losers. And uh, this next is for uh, Ali Playlist, Kenny Smith, Ian Brune, uh, Alec Milne, Jimmy Kent, Norbert and Karen, Twisted Nerve, the surviving Thistle Boot Boy. Saw him win 2-0, incidentally, on, uh, on Saturday afternoon, an impressive game. Arlene, Psycho, Francis, uh, Mina, it looks like, Auntie Eileen and Uncle Morris and all. From Icarus, this is a record, another one, which goes down extremely well at gigs. One of those things, everyone comes up and says, hey, what was that? Anime Cultured. <laughs>
As you can tell, my only copy of the record is getting a little warm. It is a little gem. That's Icarus, anime culture, that. And it's always very nice when one of your heroes from the 1970s uh, makes a good record in the 1980s, and precious few have done it, I'm afraid. And the new LP from Van Morrison is really very, very good indeed. A certain contrast, this. And uh, if Kid Jensen's listening, this one's for him. And uh, thanks very much for inviting me back to yours for something to eat. He's going on about how he's going to get a great meal and everything. Ah, well, Dweller on the Threshold is the title of it, and this, I think, is the title of a story by H.P. Lovecraft. If it isn't, it should be.
Back in mid-season form, I should say. That's Van Morrison and Dweller on the Threshold. And uh, I was given a couple of records. I was actually given 13 demo tapes during my gig at uh, Edinburgh University as well, and a couple of records. Uh, this is one of them from the Persian Rugs. It's called Burning Passion Pain. <laughs> Small label, new band. If some people had their way, you'd never have heard that, and I think it's very good. From Persian Rugs. Is it Persian Rugs or Persia Rugs? Persian Rugs, that makes more sense. That's called uh, Burning Passion Pain, and it's on Phoenix Records. Phoenix Records and Filmworks, it says, actually. And from The Cure, Figurehead.
That's The Cure, and the last from them tonight, the last of a, an excellent session, I think you'll agree, and that's called Figurehead. This next is for the Cory Mods, Tam, Martin, Kev, Stew, and the rest who wanted to hear the questions, the question, and uh, work and play. <laughs> Those are the questions and single from them, which is called Work and Play. And so to the last from Action Pack, which our Brian has typed as Midless Aggression. I expect this probably means Mindless Aggression. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Or to put it another way, instant karma gonna get you. Thank you, Action Packed, if you're listening for doing this session. That's the last of Action Packed, mindless aggression. And to end tonight's programme, something Italian from the Confusional Quartet. <laughs> You're probably thinking to yourself, oh, Peely playing records at the wrong speed again. It's not, it's 33 and a third. We won't go any slower. That's uh, from an Italian combo called the Confusional Quartet, and that was Glyn Glon Cowboy. You probably realise that already, though, without my telling you. On tomorrow night's programme, sessions from Blamange and the Cravats, and, um, well, what else? One or two new records, of course. I had written something else. I was going to say, I was going to play the Higson's record tomorrow night, but I decided to play it tonight instead. That's what I'd written down. Hence the confusion. Tonight you heard Action Packed and The Cure. And if Lysett will get his great head out of the way. Uh, one minute to midnight. Oh, boys and girls, you fly me again tomorrow night. And now Radio 1 transmitters are closing down until 5 o'clock tomorrow morning when we'll be joining Radio 2 until 7 o'clock. And then Mike Reed will be along with The Breakfast Show. Thanks for listening. Good night. It's midnight, and we welcome VHS listeners who have now joined us on Radio 2. This is Paddy O'Byrne in the Midnight Newsroom. The headlines, the talks over the Times and the Sunday Times have broken down. A group of railway guards are calling for a one-day national strike. Several oil-producing countries want an emergency meeting because of falling prices. Talks on the future of the Times and Sunday Times have broken down. The newspaper's owner, Mr Rupert Murdoch, said some clerical staff would be given their notice in the morning, but he stopped short of saying that the papers would be closed and this morning's edition is out as normal. Here's Jeremy Harris. Mr Murdoch said negotiations over ten hours hadn't resulted in the redundancies he required. There'd been no sensible response from some union chapels, in particular clerical staff belonging to Nat Sopa. This means that tomorrow morning mandatory notices will go, go out to 210 clerical staff on the general basis of last in, first out. 
These are the minimum immediate requirements. Mr Murdoch said that if production continued, he hoped negotiations would resume and be concluded with urgency. For the unions, Mr Bill Keyes, the SOGAT leader, said they had put forward staff cuts, but these weren't enough for Mr Murdoch and he'd refused to extend the deadline. So tonight, the future of the Times and Sunday Times under Mr Murdoch remains very much in doubt. A group of railway guards belonging to the National Union of Railwaymen have called for a one-day national strike in protest against the new system of flexible work rotors. After a meeting in London, a spokesman for the unofficial group, Mike Burgess, also said they'd be calling for the annual general meeting of the union to be reconvened in an attempt to change the constitution and remove from power the NUR general secretary, Sid Wheel. The TUC is to be asked to open a £1 million fund to help fight the government's proposed legislation curbing trade union powers. The idea from the TUC's employment committee is for each of Britain's 11 million trade unionists to pay a special levy of 10 pence. British Airways ground staff at Heathrow Airport have voted to continue their strike over the introduction of new working rosters. It had been expected that the 2,000 employees who handle baggage and look after cleaning and catering at Terminal 1 would decide to go back. The glut of oil on the world market is causing concern to OPEC countries. Many now have a budget deficit and several have called for an emergency OPEC meeting. But for Britain, the slump in sales is a mixed blessing, as James Long reports. For the industrial world, the boot is for once on the other foot, though Britain is, to extend the metaphor, caught on the hop. When North Sea oil contracts come up for renewal at the end of next month, there will be further strong pressure to cut the North Sea price for the second time in quick succession. That's a mixed blessing, keeping fuel costs down but bringing less revenue into the government. Attention in Westminster then, as in most OPEC countries, is focused on the Saudi Arabians, who alone have the scope to cut production enough to stop the price slide. Sir Freddie Laker has returned home after spending two days in the United States trying to get financial backing for the People's Airline he hopes to set up with Tiny Rowland. Sir Freddie said that he'd made progress and that he planned to make several more trips overseas. But he added that it was a long, laborious business. It wasn't something you did on one trip or with one set of discussions. Tehran Radio says 15 people were killed and 60 injured in a bomb explosion in the city during the rush hour. The bomb was in a dust cart outside an army barracks. Foreigners who've been in Britain for less than a year will have to pay the full cost of hospital treatment from October. Visitors from EEC or other countries with reciprocal health arrangements with Britain will be exempt, but the charges are still expected to raise at least £6 million a year. James Wilkinson reports. Every new hospital patient, British or foreign, will now have to answer questions about how long they've been in Britain. Among those who will be exempt from these charges are people coming here to work, some visiting dependents of people settled in this country, and people from countries where there is a reciprocal agreement on health care. Announcing the scheme in Parliament today, the Social Services Secretary, Mr Norman Fowler, said that it was only fair that people coming from overseas who've not contributed through taxes should be asked to pay for treatment, in the same way that British citizens have to pay for treatment when they were overseas. The government are to start a computerised information scheme for council tenants who want to swap homes. From April, a central computer will store the names and addresses of people who want to exchange homes and move to another area. The lists will be circulated to local authorities. Two more climbers have been killed on Ben Nevis. Their bodies were spotted from a helicopter by a BBC television crew. They were at the foot of Castle Gully, the scene of an avalanche in which two climbers were killed a week ago. The weather... Fog and frost will clear slowly and many parts will have some sunshine. Northwestern areas will have further cloud and rain later. And now some information from our travel unit. With temperatures well below freezing level everywhere overnight and a hard frost to contend with, drivers during the night must beware of icy patches and mist or fog in those areas where there's been rain during the day. Otherwise, there are no weather problems to affect driving conditions, but if visibility should be reduced on roads, then be sure to put those headlights on dipped. Of course. No problems for sea travellers on the cross-channel and ferry routes, as all crossings are destined to be smooth. There'll be only, mi I'm sorry, there'll be only minor disruption for air travellers from Heathrow during the coming day, as British Airways expect to operate 90% of their flights to and from this country on domestic, European and shuttle services, while long-haul flights will operate as scheduled. In Surrey, there are roadworks on the A25 in Guildford overnight, and police asked drivers to watch out for diversions in the Woodbridge Road and Ladymead area. 
On the M5 in Worcestershire, the southbound carriageway has just been closed for surface repairs between Junction 7 and Junction 8. That's from the Worcester turn-off to the M50 interchange for the Ross Spur motorway and includes the southbound entrance and exit slip roads to the Strencham service area, which has been closed overnight on the southbound side. The service area will be reopened as soon as the slip roads can be cleared. And that's all from the Midnight Newsroom. Our next news will be at 1 a.m. May we advise medium-wave listeners in the Lancashire, Yorkshire and Cornwall areas to retune to VHF as your local transmitters will now be closing down. In Lancashire and Yorkshire, we'll be back at 5 a.m. and in Cornwall at 6 a.m. BBC Radio 2 And Run Midnight Part 2. The week ahead, we shall be looking at one or two forthcoming events with Humphrey Warwin and then Francis King.